from right. Croatia. Your commentator at Densel Park is Mike Hill. Always a big occasion at the Croatian Sports Centre when Sydney, Croatia entertain Melbourne, Croatia. It's not been a happy hunting ground for Melbourne, Croatia over the years. They've yet to win on this ground. Sydney, Croatia make one change from the team that held Marconi to a 2-2 draw last week. Ivor Petkovic returns from suspension and replaces Ante Ramora, who moves to the substitutes bench. New coach Ken Warden has problems with Paul Donnelly, Ivan Duzel and Andrew Marth out through suspension. And Branko Milosevic is also a late withdrawal through injury. Coming in, Mark Talajic, Mark Silic and Dale White. In charge this evening, Peter Spires. Sydney Croatia get us underway, attacking the goal to our left in the first half. Sydney Croatia, the red shirts, the white shorts. Melbourne Croatia in a chain strip of all white. Well, these two teams met earlier this season. It finished up as a victory for Melbourne Croatia by two goals to nil. Sydney Croatia tonight looking for revenge. Croatia and Kip Scott coming into this match against a much weakened Melbourne Croatia team who come in in second position. Ivan Cena, who's rebuilt the Sydney Croatia side this season. Tonight, who's been a real utility player for Melbourne Croatia over the last couple of seasons. Davidson. Kuprashek, finds well. Kubrowski. Croatia have run into away form in recent matches. They've taken five points in their last three away matches with a draw at Heidelberg and wins at Melita and at Wollongong, Macedonia. It's been interesting to see the effect of that defeat last week as Gibson bursts through. George Hanna again was the player to the rescue and concedes the corner. John Gibson played here this season on loan from Blacktown City. Scored a couple of times. Just a few problems on that occasion. Miller tries to organise his defenders. Cooper Sack's gone forward. Petkovic, himself difficult to mark. As Lamont swings the corner in. Deep, there's Cooper Sack. 1 0. Cooper Sack gets his second goal of the season. Vrincina is on his feet. And Kubrasak, who comes forward for these set plays, climbs so well. The corner was deeply hit by Manis Lamond and a free header on the end of, edge of the six-yard box. And Kubrasak buries it. But a corner that floated away and then floated in. And Kubrasak, his second goal of the season, and six minutes gone. Sydney Croatia take the lead. So a real test now for Melbourne, Croatia. Silic. Krišak, who was signed at the start of last season. Showing his true form this year. And Viskic. White. Searching ball, looking for a Waratifi. Kelic is completely unmarked in the middle. If Waratifi could have got it across quickly, still a Waratifi. In the end against the woodwork. This is Waratifi. Used the pace there to get away from his marker. Twisted and turned. Made the angle for the shot. In the end it comes off the stanchion. Here's young Mark Selic. He's into this game with big raps. Letter. For a big game. Started here as the Sydney Croatia junior. Gets past Zelic, tries to cut it back, it comes off Petkovic and away for a corner. Petkovic on, Charlie, helping his defenders. Joe Coletta. Made just four appearances for Sydney Croatia. Back in 1986. They're trying to plant it one past the goalkeeper Tony Franken as this corner comes across from Biskic. Tony Franken got a touch. Easy corner that from Biskic. Just curling in. Tony Franken couldn't take the risk. He's in the way for another corner. 
Livingston and the Croatia of George Hanna back. So good in these situations. Biscuit again. Fisted away by Franklin. And Silic will be looking to turn it in quickly. An awkward bounce. Silic. 18 years old. And Croatia even at this early stage warming up both their substitutes. Yeah, deep from Stanton. Now Krislovic. Stanton in support. Drove that one hard and low across, looking for Gibson. Just too far ahead of Gibson. And Davidson, who's marshalling his defender so well. Unexpected of Davidson now with his recall for the Socceroos. Time caught in possession. Is Lamont away from one, away, away from two? Still Lamont caught down, looking for the penalty, nothing given. Peter Spire saying it was a dive. Manus Lamont there walks past the defenders as if they weren't there. So the TV doing well to hook that one back. Here's Kelic. Forced away from goal. Couldn't get the shot on target. Marvin Kelic is the leading goal scorer for Melbourne, Croatia. As the scoreboard tells us, it's the home side leading by a goal to nil after 20 minutes. Interesting about this Melbourne, Croatia side, they're the league's leading goal scorers. Only three players in their starting lineup tonight hasn't scored this season. One, of course, is the goalkeeper, David Miller. Mark Talaic and Mark Silic are the two players yet to get their name on the score sheets. Here's Petrovic. Talaic. Sliding that one through. Here's Krislovic. Krislovic open goal. And it's 2 0. Tony Krislovic, goal number 13 of the season. He scored twice last week, he scored again this week. Petkovic is the player who brought the ball forward for Sydney, Croatia. And how's this for running? He takes it past the keeper, always an awkward angle, but somehow he turned it back into the back of the net. And Sydney Croatia increased their lead. But Ivo Kopekovic had a big hand in that. It was his vision, but it was Krislovic's finish. And 21 minutes gone, the home side increased their lead to two goals to nil. And a real test now for Melbourne Croatia. Tonight is the player upended. Tony Krislovic, 13 goals now this season. He's going to get back now and do some defensive work as Melbourne Croatia have this free kick. Biscuit floating that one, looking for a Warwick see if it came off the head of Kuprasak. Away for a throw in. Silic is the player who's gone across to take this throw. George Hanna's gone forward. Here's Biscic. Oh, Biscic floating that one in. Bounces nicely in the end for the keeper. Here's Carter. So it's only for Encina. Seeing his side turning all up. You get extra pleasure from that because at one stage he was coach at Melbourne, Croatia. That was back in 1984 where he was in charge of tonight's visitors for 19 games. And like players, coaches always like to get the better of one of their old clubs as Krislovic gets the chance for his second and he's denied by the legs of Miller. And the linesman on the far side, Kevin Took, is flagging. Wasn't flagging for the offside. I think he was flagging there for a push. But the keeper here did well, stood his ground, didn't give 
Krislovic much of a target. Tony Krislovic, who was one of the surprise omissions this week from the Socceroos squad for the games against Czechoslovakia. Many out to prove a point tonight. Vasilic. So pulling on Carter. Spires now in his fourth season on the National Soccer League panel. Kuprasek. Oh, after six minutes, the scoring. Zelic for Petkovic. Cool play there from Salamides. Yeah, it's completely available on the far side. He's been well spotted and well picked out. Coletta, faced by Stanton. Silic. Now the sketch. Silic. Good run from the young midfielder. Silic. A one, two, three. Francis Awara TV brings joy to the travelling Melbourne Croatia supporters. Goal coming after 28 minutes. But the youngster here, Mark Selic, good run. Got it past the keeper. And Awara TV had the simplest of chances just to push it over the goal line. But look for the burst here from young Mark Selic. Into space, past two defenders, got past Kuprashak, took it past the keeper. Francis Awaratifi picks up the crumbs. That's his seventh goal of the season. And 28 minutes gone, the visitors pull back and get back onto the scoreboard. Awaratifi, goal number seven. There's a lifeline now for his side. One stage, look as if they were going to get overrun. Better on that far side. Croatia with plenty of players forward. Here's Kalic. Going this one back across the face of goal. Played by Zelic. To Lajic. Now Zelic. That one away to Krislovic. Le Monde. Get away from Davidson. Now Zelic. Free to run at defenders, the youngster. Still Silic. Not afraid to have a chance and a brilliant save from Tony Franken. That was goal bound. Well, Mark Silic has come up to Sydney with a big reputation. And there he chanced his arm and brought the best out of Tony Franken. Advantage of the wind to swirl it in in this first half. And the header down from Kalic is the equaliser. Well, Sydney Croatia and their supporters will ask questions. Ivan Kalic with a free header on the goal line. It all came from the corner from Biskic. And Ivan Kalic, you can see him there, the number 10, making his run late. A free header from two yards. So Ivan Kalic, goal number eight of the season. 37 minutes gone, Sydney Croatia two, Melbourne Croatia two. Heard of close marking. Here's a Waratifi. Kalic is set off through the middle. Zelic is the player who again reads the situation well. Concede the throw in. It's Zelic who started here. So now to go to Canberra on loan for a season to get experience. With Edron Rogers telling me about this exciting youngster. He was coming through, Ned Zelic, when he gave him his chance. As Biscuit tries the shot, and a brilliant save from Tony Franken. Was this Biscuit just scored once so far this season? He was so close there to his second. He really gave this from Hammer. And now to go forward in midfield, looks up. And a brilliant save this from Tony Franken. Yeah. Time, time, 
time, time, time. Yeah, early. Give me a, give me a, give me a. Games in the game, making the game look so easy. Always seems to have time. Throw from the keeper. Coletta. Forward for Zelic as the half-time whistle goes. It'll be a good first half for Ken Warden's Melbourne Croatia side who came back from two goals down after Kuprashak and Krislovic had given the home side the lead. Goals from Awaratifi after 28 minutes and then Kelic in the 37th minute. Makes it all equal here at the Croatian Sports Centre where the half-time scoreline is Sydney Croatia 2, Melbourne Croatia 2. get the second half underway now attacking the goal to our left no changes in either side of the half time I think the Roman Croatia dressing room would have been a lot happier than perhaps the Sydney Croatia dressing room we've seen a two goal lead evaporate Coletta that'll be Tony Franken there at the near post off wheel line of excitement and plenty of goals for this big crowd here at the Croatian Sports Centre. Here's Ned Zelic. Now Petkovic lifting that one forward, a good run from Gibson. Johnny Gibson, his third goal of the season. But the referee has gone over to talk to the linesman. John Gibson. Goal is cancelled out. And it's been cancelled out for a deliberate handball against Gibson. Well, let's see if we can pick that up on the replay. Beautiful chip forward there from Ivor Petkovic. And there was the handball from Gibson. Just pushing it past the keeper. You've got to get a better view of it from behind the goal. Delightful ball forward. There was the handball from Gibson. First with one hand and then the other as he played it past the keeper. So the goal doesn't stand. And Stanton leads the charge forward. Manus Lamont. The flag has stayed down. Still Lamont. And away there by Hannah. Kristovic must have thought he was in for number two. But Manus Lamont was on his way when the offside flag stayed down. Now Biskic, forward for a Waratifi. Good turn away from Kuprasek. Still a Waratifi. Now Kelic can't get away from Pedro Rikoy. Now Petkovic. Now Rikoy, in the more midfield attacking role. Moments ago, he was the last line of defence. Here's Grabevsky. Now Stanton. Davidson. All under pressure. Back to his keeper. David Miller had a let off just moments earlier. Good ball forward that from Stanton. The offside flag stayed down. And Manis Lamont got it away from the keeper. Tony Christopher is coming in, but good call defensive play there from George Hanna. Petkovic. Hey, Stanton. The members of the Australian youth squad that will be playing their World Youth Cup qualifiers in the next few weeks. Signing for Les Schoenflug sign is in good form. Here's Le Monde. It's by Davidson, still Le Monde. Now Carter. Hard and low. Krislovic. Rikoi. Wide from Pedro Rikoi. Well, there was the opportunity for Pedro Rikoi. Carter drove it in hard and low. Krislovic was the player causing all the trouble. And Pedro Rikoi hit that, it was blocked, and away for a corner. Pedro Rikoi, who scored twice, denied there his third of the season. As Le Mans takes the corner. Here's Biskic. Oh, 
the ball up, waiting for players to get forward. Dow right. It's a player furthest forward now for Melbourne, Croatia. Now to Lajic. To Lajic trying the shot. Where is for Tony Franken? He's been in outstanding form over the last couple of weeks. To Lajic couldn't find a way past him. Croatia really has lost very little. Former Silic and Philip Milosevic. Next ball out, Wilson. Silic again, so hungry for the ball. Let's see if he's pulled away on the far side. Silic has made a run through the middle. Silic there, that's another bite of the cherry. Thank you. It's Coletta. To the far post, Awara Tifi. Francis Awara Tifi, his second goal of the evening. Tony Franken shakes his head in disbelief. Francis Awara Tifi had a free header at the far post. Mark Silic started the move. Coletta here hits it deep. Everybody came to the near post, and Francis Awaratifi didn't really have to move, just climbed, nodded it past the keeper. Tony Franken, no chance whatsoever. So 75 minutes gone. Sydney, Croatia 2, Melbourne, Croatia 3. For Francis Awaratifi, goal number eight of the season. Silic started the move that led to that third goal. Coletta, Waratifi. Again, he pulled away. It's causing so many problems on those balls that are hit deep to the far post. Now Grabeski. Croatia now pulled everybody back. Over by George Hanna only as far as Le Mans. Always an awkward angle, Le Mans with the cross. And away by Talajic. Brilliant play there from Manis Le Mans. Got a good soccer brain. Played it deep. Melbourne, Croatia there were in trouble. Mark Talajic was the player to the rescue. Corner for Sydney, Croatia. Kuprasak's gone forward again. Away there by Salamides, now Grabevsky. Away again by Salamides. Deep into the crowd, and let off there for David Miller. He can smile now. Now Zelic. Lifting this one forward. Again, the keeper comes, claims it. Good throw from the keeper. That's Coletta on his way. Now Biskic. Good chip forward from Coletta. Good challenge from Zelic. And a penalty's been given. Well, Biskic has gone down. Referee Peter Spires was ideally placed. He had no hesitation and pointed immediately to the spot. Now Coletta chips it forward. Biskic on the one run through. There's the challenge from Zelic. Well, he certainly made contact with Biskic's leg. So a penalty in the 84th minute. Taken by Ivan Kelic. Faced by Tony Franken. Kelic! 4-2. Tony Franken is beaten. Josef Biskic still requiring attention on the sideline. He was brought down. It led to this penalty. Ivan Kalic comes up coolly to score his second goal of the evening. His ninth now of the season. And 84 minutes gone. Sydney, Croatia 2. Melbourne, Croatia 4. And while we were watching that replay... Melbourne Croatia have made a substitution with Andrew Wright wearing the number 12 coming on for his National Soccer League debut. Alamond. 
putting this one forward. Kosh. Close control. Remora. Caught there for Andrew Wright. Cena there indicating what his players should have done. Feet high there from Andrew Wright. Ante Remora. Spires there and ensuring that the wall is back the required 10 paces. Maybe Miller ensuring that that far post is covered. Krislovic. Brilliant goal from Tony Krislovic. He makes it look so easy. At long last, the Sydney Croatia flags can fly proudly. Tony Krislovic, he made it look so simple. Two steps and into the top corner, in off the post, in fact. A goal of class, a goal of brilliance from Tony Krislovic. And in stoppage time, Sydney Croatia pull one back. He's got the signal from both linesmen. Kuprasak, away by Davidson, as the final whistle goes, Northern Croatia have recorded their first win here in Sydney over their sister club, 2-2 at half-time, a good dramatic second half, Tony Krislovic, who scored in the first half, scored again in the dying minutes, but it wasn't enough for Sydney Croatia, Josip Biskic had a big hand in the win for Melbourne Croatia, the final scoreline here at the Croatian Sports Centre, Sydney, Croatia 3, Melbourne, Croatia 4. Here Silic receives the ball from Coletta, he's closed down by Johnny Gibson and the ball's knocked past him. Gibson turns and follows the ball and turns his back on his man and guess who pops up to set up Melbourne's first goal? Silic. The second goal. There's no way Kellett should be unmarked, especially from a set piece, and there he is at the back post, unchallenged to score their second goal. And practically the same thing happens for their third. Across from Coletta, four Sydney Croatia defenders, and none of them are anywhere near a Waratifi, all ball watching. As for the penalty, whether the ref was right or wrong is irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. Biscuit should never have been in that position in the first place.